Hey lovies, welcome to my corner of the galaxy here in the Celestial Council. Tashimone Sims here with another video for you. Today we are back with Shady Palms Adult Daycare Center and y'all. I opened my game. I was getting set up to start my recording. I was actually looking at Nevea, but as I was with Nevea, um, Lorna got a call and she got a call from Perla and Perla said, I just sent you some money. Make sure you use it wisely. Now I'm going to have her decline the money because of, you know, she being the girlfriend of Perla's husband and, uh, you know, I'm just going to have her decline it. And be like, you know what? No, I'm not going to take that money, right? Because she doesn't, you know, like she doesn't want to feel like she owes Perla anything after the fact that, you know, she's already out here being with Perla's man and things like that. So she's baking a cake. Interesting. I don't know why, but she's going ahead and baking a cake. That's fine with me. She could go ahead and bake a cake. Um, but basically we're going to spend some time with Lorna today because I want Lorna to really like speak to Stuart and be like, look, Stuart, you need to really get these things together. Like another holiday is coming up and I would like to spend time with you before everything's over and you have a whole wife and a family. And if that, you know, like if he doesn't do what we need him to do, then I, I just, I don't know what's going to happen with that. So I know we said we're going to spend some time with Lorna, but I would really like to see. Okay. So Nevaeh's music, Winsome's Cry, has been uploaded to the Simify service for everyone to hear. Let's hope it gets popular and a music label takes notice. So that's so cool. I love that she did that. Why does she have? Okay. So it's released to Simify service. Yes, Nevaeh, you did that. Booty boop boop boop. Okay. So this one, she... Um, is taking a nap, but grandma's making um, dinner. She's going to go ahead and call them to dinner in just a moment. Um, and we also need to get it so that um, Yadira is spending more time with Timothy because after last episode and how they were with each other, like I just absolutely loved it. It was just so cute. Um, you know what? Since Sade is here, she can come and have dinner with us as well when sims cry is on the radio oh oh my goodness her song is on the radio oh i'm so proud of her and so happy everybody come listen to her song listen to it oh that's so cute oh nathaya Yes, girl. Yes. Come on, Grandma. Hurry up before it's over. So we are here in the little meeting. And uh, this is just getting awkward because Lorna was here painting and she was talking to Perla, who is over here painting. Um, and Stuart seems very sad, but we're not exactly certain why. Like, I want Lorna to find time to be with Stuart on her own. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to have her lock her bedroom door, but then allow Stuart in. And then they can sit, like, in her room and have a conversation. So let me actually go set that up now. And then she can have Stuart join her in her room for a talk. So I finally got them in this room so I could get them to have a talk. Like, he looks very sad. I'm going to have her, like, talk to him about, like, what's really going on with their relationship and have her try and cheer him up um, because she's just really worried about him. Like, he seems to be... Um, he seems to be, like, really you know, like, upset and things like that, and she really just wants to make sure that he is okay. Um, she really does love Stuart, and she cares about him, and tons and, and, like, it's kind of really upsetting to her that, you know, like, he is feeling so down, and I think he's feeling down mainly because he feels really guilty about like cheating on his wife the way that he is but he also is like he really um 
enjoys like being with wow. Lorna. And Lorna is just like, look, Stu, like, I know this is difficult. It's hard to, you know, like, think about, like, what we're doing and how, like, this could impact the people that we say we care about. But at the end of the day, like, you're either with me or you're not. So what is this going to be? Right? And so... She's going to go ahead and ask him about, like, his opinion exclusivity. Like, she wants to know, like, are you going to leave your wife? And I'm going to leave Stuart so that we can be together. Like, I mean, not Stuart, Hans. Like, so that we can be together. Lorna is determined, right? She's like, I'm at the end of my life. I, I need you to leave Perla. Like, that's basically what she's telling me. She's like, I need you to leave Perla. Like, I need you to do so. I don't know. Oh, Lorna has convinced Stuart to leave his spouse. Oh my freaking goodness. Like that made Lorna so happy, right? Uh, right, like he has children and grandchildren, but the only thing that Lorna could see is what it is that she wants with him. And that is a life in love and a whole bunch of... I want to call it happiness, but I don't know if their relationship is going to end up having, like, happiness with how these things are going, right? Like, she's doing this right in her room during this club meeting with, like, these people here, and, like, she doesn't give two dams about it. Like, she does not, she, she does not care. Let her go ahead and do, like, I love you today. Stuart is called. Hey, we talked about non-exclusive relationships recently, and that gave me the courage to ask you, could we have a non-exclusive relationship? I know you fucking lying, right? Like he... I'm going to say that she's going to say that, you know what, I'm on board, and she's going to be on board only because she doesn't want to scare him away so late in life but she's gonna try and get him on her side of being in an exclusive relationship because she is going to leave Hans as soon as I can find Hans I don't know where he is at he's somewhere in this house he must be downstairs somewhere is he in the yoga studio Nope, that is... Hans is here. Okay. I'm gonna have her confess to cheating. And then I'm gonna have her break up. She's gonna be like, you know, like, I am in love with... With Stuart. And it was not going to work between the two of us. So we're gonna go ahead and go with... She ain't even wash her hands. She is ready to be done with Hans for the man that she loves. Oh my goodness. And Stuart is going to be in this conversation. I hope it doesn't break out into a fight. Oh Lord. And then while we're here, we might as well just have her talk to Perla too. Like, look, coming to you woman to woman. Stuart's my man. He really ain't, but Lorna out here being crazy. So there's that. Like, the drama with these old people. I mean, yeah, I caused it. But still. Like, Lorna is reckless. I mean, he already knew. He saw her cheating. But he's still acting surprised. He got the decency to act surprised. Oh. Oh, no. Like, even though she cheated... He's still sad. Why is she depressed? Like, sis, why are you depressed? You ain't even want to be with him. Because it hurts, but I felt that they had a right to know. Okay. But she's really depressed now. And I mean, like, I don't want to say, like, it serves her right. But also, like, she was out here, like, messing with people's lives and things like that. And it's uh, just tough. So I'm going to have these little girls go ahead and text the people that they were like chilling and hanging out with. So let's send a 
text. Um, let's see here. Let's send favorite photo so she gets along with Dwayne. And let's have her go ahead and text Timothy. And she is going to send Timothy a compliment. And we're also going to have Lorna send a sad text over to Stuart and be like, look, I did my end and you need to do your end. Like, you need to, you need to get this together, Stuart. You finally texted me back. I think I'm going out today. That's cool. Okay, and so when she's done eating, she... Oh, did she do her homework? Okay, I'm assuming she did her homework then. And he's shocked. He didn't expect that she was depressed. Like, sir, she needs you to get this together. And Nevaeh oh is also goodness. handling her needs. So, y'all, it is so freaking crazy, right? Like, I did not expect for... Lorna to do the things that she did today. Well, yeah, I made her do those things, but still, like, I didn't expect for them to be how they were. Like, I just expected, you know, like, Lorna to hang out with Stuart, um, tell him, like, look, I need you to figure out what it's gonna be, but she broke up with Han she was like hey you need to break up with your wife Stuart like we need to be together and then Stuart asked her for a non-exclusive relationship and she was like you know what okay but she's gonna try and get him on the other side and I think we're gonna end here for today so I thank you so much for joining me for another episode of Shady Palms Adult Daycare Center if you like this episode please make sure that you like comment and subscribe if you would like to see your sims in any of my LPs as townies, make sure you upload them to the gallery with the hashtag TMS townies. As always, I'm sending positive vibes your way. I'm Tasha Monet. See you next time.